This is ContactTalkRadio.com. Consciousness in action. And you are taking action into your consciousness by tuning into Contact Talk Radio. And on TuneIn.com, Hing.fm, and Upsnap Mobile. Contact Talk Radio. Throughout the nation and around the globe, from his heart to yours, it's Dear James Live on the radio. Here on the Contact Talk Radio Network, bringing you intuitive insight, answers, and advice to your life questions. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Dear James Live. Express yourself, tell it like it is, and then hear what Dear James has to say. Today, we are going to be continuing the Power of series with the Power of Meditation. And before we jump into that, I want to let everyone know, as usual, I am taking your calls live throughout the hour. It will be free intuitive readings if you're one of the uh, first-time callers, and you'll get a follow-up and so forth. So the phone lines are open. I do have my first caller standing by, so hold in there with me. But uh, the phone lines are open. It's 877-230-3062. And just a little bit of information for you, the Dear James Advice column, I just want to tell you all up front, um, you can find it as a recurring advice column at the goodmenproject.com, wellness.com, intentblog.com, and myria.com. So very excited to have the Dear James Advice column. If you have a question, if you're too shy to call in live during the live shows, you know, so go to dearjames.com and click on Ask. And submit your question there, and I will, as, as I get to them, I will publish them and put them out and answer your questions that way as well. So it's always interesting to hear what the universe has to say. Um, and as I always say, have the courage to call in live. So today we are going to continue the Power of series with the Power of Meditation. And before I go to my first caller, I just wanted to say something about meditation. Because um, there's all these misnomers and there's all these things about I don't do it right, or it's, it takes too much time. I mean, there's a myriad of, of reasons to not meditate, if you will. And we kind of go through life, and you've, if you've been listening and following the show, you know that um, this is a big transition time. This is now we're in the age of Aquarius. Um, it's the age of the feminine. There's going to be a lot of this balancing where the feminine energies, whether you are masculine or feminine in this incarnation, we are of both. And so there's a beautiful reminder here in the power of meditation to get in touch with yourself, to switch from leading with your personality or your identity to leading with your soul. And when you think about leading with your soul, your soul is in perfect harmony and in perfect balance. And so the power of meditation is about placing you in a space or a state of receptivity, It's listening. There's a beautiful, beautiful um, expression. And it says, when you pray to God or to source, you're talking. But when you meditate, you're listening. And the power of meditation is all about the power of listening, the power of receptivity. So that's what we're going to be talking about throughout the hour. But as you know, if you've probably been listening and following along, I never like to leave people waiting on the phone line when they've called in. So I want to go to my first caller, Amber from Denver. Hello, Amber. Good morning. Thank good morning. So good morning. My call. <laughs> Absolutely. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I am doing great. Thanks. Yay. That's so good. <laughs> I like your voice already. I like your voice. You've got a good feeling. You've got a oh, good feeling. So, well, what's happening? So I am in a a really crazy time of of transition. Um, I've been out of work for almost almost a year now, and so I am just worried, really consumed with worry that I'm not going to find anything, that I'm not going to be able to take care of my kiddos and all that fun stuff. So, yeah, so. <laughs> I am just at a loss. And I love that you were talking about meditation because I'm really trying to get more in touch with my spiritual side. And that's exactly, I mean, when you really talk about the power of meditation and, you know, because what I was hearing right up front, and I knew you were going to say that it was a year, which is funny. So I knew that you were 
when you said I've been out of work and I was like for a year. <laughs> and and there's this beautiful thing because right now what's happening is you're leading with your identity, your personality. And that's and of course that's you know, that's our natural default mode because it's I know how to take care of me. You know, or I have to take mm. care of me. It's about the do, do, do. Um now one thing that I'm hearing, Amber, is that you have a and I, before I tell you that, I want to say to you, it's not the the state that you're feeling, the energies that you're feeling mm-hmm. are about these big transitions, these big, you've got to show up because they, you know, the universe is saying, we've done it our way, meaning they're saying to us, you know, to every human being that's walking the planet, they're like, you've done it your way. Now it's time for you to do it our way. Mm-hmm. There's this There's this big shift and that means receptivity, listening, even when... You know, we don't like the answer or the answer scares us because then we think, oh, no, 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 that can't be the right answer or the right move or the right thing because I know and, you know, I'm I'm out there and I'm pounding the pavement and I'm, you know, but we get all into our head, you see. So when you spend more time going, worrying like, (sighs) you stay in that state and that is, that's talking, that's in the mind. They want you to move into, and, and they're saying to me that you've already, you already know. <laughs> I love the universe because they're like, she already knows what she's supposed to be doing, and oh, she's goodness. just not do. She's not doing it. They're like, I mean, they're making me laugh because they're like, it's so sweet that she called in. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, she knows. She's just been stubborn and not wanting to do it. So, I. When you were speaking right at the top of the hour, I heard that you have a big move on the horizon. Are you not wanting to move? Are you feeling like, because I feel like you're supposed to literally move, you know, like. Yeah. <laughs> like I uh, move out. Yeah. Yeah. You're supposed I'm to like move. Out. You're supposed to move <laughs> along. You're supposed to, I mean, the word, you know, big move. I mean, it's an expression, but the word move. You're meant to relocate. You're meant to move. You're meant to move your energy. You're meant to move your out of your surroundings. Like um, you have been boxed in, mm-hmm. and instead of expanding and ex- you know expressing yourself, you're contracting yourself. Uh. You, you're 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 pulling in the you know like it's like the walls are falling in on you. You see right. what I mean? Mm-hmm. And that's how you've been feeling, right? Absolutely. Yeah, everything's diminishing and, and as opposed to expanding. And what they're saying is, yes, you know, this big move, you know, and it's it's both literal and figurative. It's about you shifting into, you know, your real place, your real empowerment, your your real purpose. And and your um Okay. You got to, you know, it's, it's, it's express yourself. Tell it like it is, right? Right. <laughs> They're like, she's trying to take the easy way out. Is that ringing true to you? Um, absolutely. Yeah, I yeah. think so. Yeah, they're... They're like, she's like, they're like, Amber, and, and and don't take this the wrong way, but they're like, you know, Amber, up to this point, Amber, not that you don't work hard or you're not doing what you're supposed to do, but they're like, Amber likes what they're calling easy lane. And this move, this big move, this big coming out, you know, this big really coming forward and coming out is scary. It's intimidating and it's it's going to take right. energy and all of this good stuff. And you're kind of like, yeah, if you could just give me this job over here and I could just kind of and I could <laughs> and and if you would and, you know, and we could and and they're like, yeah, we've exhausted those arrangements. Huh. There's, you made a promise, is what they're telling me. You made a promise mm-hmm. uh, that uh, I want to hear this, but that you made a promise. Like, and and what I'm getting was that this was a promise to yourself that you would always be far more, and in a beautiful way, not for others. This was about you saying to yourself, "I'll always be far more than what anyone ever expected of me." Hmm. <laughs> Definitely. And thereby, they're saying to you, you made us, i.e. yourself, you made us that promise, and now we're, it's time to cash in. 
You don't get to hide anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Amber, I'm so oh. glad you called in. <laughs> oh, me too. So, so really what they're saying, Amber, is you've just got to, you've got to take the leap. You've got to take the plunge. You've got to have the faith that you've always had in yourself. I know that certain, there's people around you that may have been, you know, they're kind of showing me um, bowling pins and things like that, where, you know, some pins have been knocked down and, and that makes you a little bit nervous. Um, You know, can I do this? You know, can I be everything? And, Mm. you know, in your particular instance, because you are Amber, because you are who you are, they're saying yes. And, you know, you're not walking alone. You're walking with them. So if this is about a return to faith and trust and um, self, and, and the beauty in that because of the meditation is the more that you, because they're, te- you know, as I said earlier, you, you know what you're supposed to do. You've just been resisting. Yes? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're right. Right. Uh. So they're saying, you know, like, get it packed up, get moving, get going. Because even though you don't necessarily have confirmation of what's on the other side, you know what's not working where you are. And you won't Hmm. know the beauty of where you've arrived until you make the journey and you get there. And And I guarantee you even though it might be a little scary and all that good stuff along the way, at some point within the next year, you're going to kind of be sitting there pinching yourself saying, what did I wait so long for? Hmm. Because that's really what you promised yourself. You know, this isn't about others providing for you. It's about what you already chose as a soul. So you're already golden because you chose it. It's why you said to yourself, I'm always going to be more than what others expected. I'm always going to stand a little taller. You know, I'm always going to, because it's just something innate in you. Hmm. And I think that that's, it's, you know, it's what comes across in your voice. You know, there's a, there's a beautiful joy in your voice. There's a, um, God, they, they, got, they always play songs in my head that, you know, that can't touch this, you know, that song. <laughs> Yeah. That's, yeah, that's what they're playing in my head for you. So, so what I would love for you to do, and you obviously we're going to do a, a you know a private thirty minute consultation after the show. You know, we'll reach out after the show and set that up. But what I'd love for you to do in between now and then is really just find the space and the time to sit with yourself, so that you can go into a receptive mode, a listening mode hmm. with Source. And just feel what's coming. Let it come to you. And not the chatter in your head that, you know, that's where you've been. But the, you know, that knowingness that comes from, you know, kind of the center of your soul, your sternum and everything. And that feeling and start listening and then marry that with willful action. Take the little steps. You know, Wallace D. Waddles, his great expression of do small acts in great ways. And that is such a powerful thing because it might be, okay, look in the paper or, okay, I'm, I need to make this phone call or call that friend or, you know, those are small acts in great ways because they lead you where you're going to go. But you already know where you're going. So you just have to get busy. <laughs> <laughs> you already know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So we'll talk about a lot more of this, you know, you know, and more of your questions and things like that, you know, and specifics and everything when I when we do our private consultation. But really start connecting, lead with your soul, Amber. It's not it will never lead you astray. It's only our personalities that kind of deviate us or hold us or, you know, do these trip us up. And you got to kind of start surrendering that so that you lead with your soul. And that is the beauty and the power of meditation is that it connects you to that space or that place where you can really hear it, where you can receive it. And then you just have to trust and say, okay, you know what? I know this to be true. I may not be able to see everything on the other side, but I know this feels right. 
and this other stuff just isn't working. Uh, you know, it's like I'm swimming up river and I'm getting exhausted and depleted. But when you flow with it, you just get green lights. It all just goes boom, 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 and it happens for you. So, faith. You're a very, very strong woman. You have a good soul and a very strong woman. So, I want you to, if you do nothing else today, I want you to smile it out all day long, okay? <laughs> Got it. <laughs> you smile it out and you say, I'm going that away. <laughs> Well, All thank right. you so much. You are welcome. I we will be I'll be in touch after the show. Okay. Thank you, Amber. <laughs> so you're listening to Dear James Live Express Yourself. We're talking about the power of meditation. And there is a beautiful, beautiful example of place yourself in a receptive state and listen to how the universe is guiding you and then take willful steps to move and move yourself forward. It's about faith. It's about and faith in faith of self. It's about surrender. And it's about willful action, that trust, that surrender, and that willful action. And those combined, the information comes from the power of meditation. You're listening to Dear James Live, Express Yourself. Tell it like it is, and then hear what Dear James has to say. The power of meditation will be right back after this station break. <laughs> To be more consciously enlightened is innate. Do you feel there's more to life? If so, find the resource that's right for you by going to dearjames.com slash resources. You are the reality you create. Make it a great one. When you ask a question, the universe hears you, and in a multitude of ways, they seek to communicate with you to provide the intuitive insight, answers, and advice you seek. From serious to silly, monumental to mundane, there's nothing the universe can't cover. Maybe the insight you receive is exactly the affirmation you were looking for. Then again, it may just give you a whole new perspective on things. And that's the beauty of the universe. Submit your question to Dear James at DearJames.com and click Ask. The gift of giving is immeasurable. Give of your time, talent, resources, and money. Give not only because you can, but because by doing so, it is already coming back to you. As a people, we are only as strong as the least among us. Together, we harness the power of the collective whole and see through our deeds the power of miracles, both large and small. Find the charity that's right for you by visiting www.dearjames.com and click on Charitable Giving. One person or kind act really does make the difference. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Dear James Live. Express yourself. Tell it like it is, and then hear what Dear James has to say. We are taking your calls live. The phone lines are open. It is 877-230-3062. As I always say, have the courage to call in live. Don't wait to the last minute, because then we can't tell you what the universe has to say. And I do have my second caller holding, and I'm, I will go to her in just one second. But another thing that I wanted to talk about quickly about the power of meditation is, again, this point that it's an opening. It's an opportunity to reconnect from your soul to source. That's what we're talking about, this soul-source connection. And when you're in this opening, this opportunity to be in this meditative state, you're in this receptive state of being. And there are so many benefits to meditation, daily meditation. Um, 
and you know you can do as simple as a two or three minute meditation upwards of you know an hour meditation or longer you don't you know so in essence there are varying levels and entries and so forth but truly meditation is about calming and centering yourself and clearing the chatter in your mind and allowing yourself to feel feel the answers feel your soul source connection it's not about having you know these um you know some transcendental kind of experiences i mean sometimes that will happen it doesn't happen every single time and so the reason i say this to you is to not become discouraged in meditation or feel like you're not doing it right because that's one of the biggest biggest things that we always hear is well i've been meditating or i try to meditate but i don't think i'm doing it right and the beautiful buddhist uh monk pema chodron uh, at a talk she said i've been you know i've been meditating for 30 plus years and i still don't know if i'm doing it right and the beauty of realizing that here is a woman that literally walks the talk if you will and and from a buddhist place and a meditation place does this you know daily and multiple times per day and for 30 years and says and has the grace and the humility to say i still don't know if i'm doing it right the beauty of that expression is for you all to listen and say there is no right or wrong with meditation it's the point of placing yourself in a receptive state a place of stillness a place of calm and there are you know mind you know there's mind benefits there's health benefits there's creative benefits. There's so many benefits that come to you from the state of meditation, from the act of doing it and participating and making time for it. So that is one of the great powers of meditation is receptivity, soul source connection. So let me go to my next caller, Elizabeth from Dallas. Hello, Elizabeth. James, can you hear me? I can. How are you? I'm fine. How are you today? I am very well. I'm calling in because you read for me last summer, and I can't tell you how helpful you were. Uh I was having a lot of issues having to do with fear of lack and not having enough money to survive in the world, and you put me on the right track, so I have to thank you for that. Oh, yay. Good. The universe is applauding. (laughs) Well, what's happening? Thank you for that. I'm calling trying to get a checkup of how I'm doing in terms of that. Well, right off the bat, I am hearing um, you're actually doing quite well. So they want you, um, um, what I'm hearing is you're doing quite well. Um, They want you to practice more and more and more trust. That's the word they're giving me for you. Um, Mm -hmm. So in essence, you have really, um, they're saying to me, you've really moved mountains. Um, Oh, and thereby, you know, so in your progress is what I'm hearing. In your progress and everything, you have moved mountains. Um, but they're also wanting you to, you know, it's like keep the faith. You know, some things take longer is what they're saying yes. to me. So certain things take longer than what we wanted. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and so they're saying to you, keep the faith, keep walking, keep um, materializing is the word. Um, okay. And in order to materialize, we have to trust. Yes. Now, if I'm recalling right, because it's all kind of coming back to me, um, you had moved into a beautiful place that you loved um, and that it was... Yeah, absolutely right. There we go. Okay, so that's you and that, and that you were also, um, it was at a point where you were going to be, um, I said to you, get in place and position and, and everything before you, um, because you mm-hmm. do uh, empathic work and so forth, you... Yes. Correct. Right. Okay. So, so in that you you know you're moving mountains and you're you're literally aligning. They're saying keep the faith, keep the trust, um, mm-hmm. because that's where you know we can get tripped up there. Um, yes. If there are certain because there are some bigger things. What they're saying to me is there are some what they're calling big ticket items that you've yes. been wanting to manifest. Which yeah. And and they've been. You know, they haven't been as forthcoming. They Mm -hmm. haven't arrived yet. And thereby, that can shake your, you know, your faith or your trust or your foundation. And they're saying... No, I won't let... Right. I will not let... Yeah. They're saying, don't give up before the party starts. Okay. (laughs) And because interestingly enough, too, 
energy wise, the first three months, the first quarter, you know, and I would say January, February were really, and especially the way I looked at this was January was kind of this, a little bit of this holdover because there were a lot of uh, astrological things happening. And, Mm -hmm. you know, so there was a retrograde, there was the, um, uh, I forget, there was like two other monumental things that happened. And so I was feeling, for me personally, I was feeling that January was a little bit of this holdover. But then I came to realize that it was the break they were trying to give us or the rest that they were okay. trying to give us. And then February, it was a little bit lingering like that. And then we came into March. And what they said for me, you know, for everybody was March was manic March. And mm-hmm. I don't know about you, Elizabeth, but things were very like, not bad, but manic, like go, 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 go. Yeah. So there's yeah. a lot of movement, a lot of energy moving. And now we're coming into abundant April is what they call it. Okay. So this was what I was here at. And when you get to we made it May, then you're going to have this sense of, oh, things are really humming. Things are really clicking now. Great. And that is going to set you up. So don't, you know, definitely do not... um don't stop before the party starts. Um, no, I ha- you you helped me so much because I just didn't see how I was hindering myself, and you opened my eyes to that, and it changed my outlook, and I I'm so grateful. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm very very happy to hear that. Well, a that you you know that you called in Elizabeth, but you know, and for everyone listening, if you this is the willful action. When, when the universe talks and, and here's Elizabeth, you listen, but then you also took the willful act of, of seeing it and, and making the changes for yourself that bring about greater openness and opportunity. Mm-hmm. And if you had not done that, it, we'd, it wouldn't, we'd be talking about a whole different, you know, yeah. set of circumstances here. So yeah. I want to yeah. ask you, um, yeah. I'm told that I should, um, go online and, and offer my readings on the internet. Do you see that as a good idea? Well, it's interesting because are you are you currently affiliated with, do you go to a place? Because I'm feeling like there's a place or there's somebody around you that I want you to be mindful of. Um, that's So do you go to a physical location right now? Uh, yes, do, I go to... I go only once a month. Next month, I'll be starting going twice a month to, um, it's like an, an expo or a fair that I work doing readings. Okay. So, um, so at that particular event, and I, the, just be mindful of um, who approaches you, what they might okay. be offering, um, and really feel it. So that you, because sometimes, you know, there can be the people of, um, you know, the people that take instead of give. Okay. And so I just want you to be, and, and not that, you know, the, in the readings per se, but in people that might see you or see yeah. your spirit in the way, you know, your presence. And might want to, for lack of a better words, capitalize on that. And okay. so you don't want to um, give away. Are you you're, telling you're, me not to let myself be exploited? That's exactly what I am saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Exactly I just want to make sure that I understand. That's all. Yeah. No, that's exactly what I'm saying to you. Is because sometimes people come in the cloak of, oh, look, I'm going to offer you this. And doesn't it all look, you know, beautiful and shiny only to realize that they are, you know, exploiting you or, or taking advantage. And so okay. be mindful of that. Um, because again, I, I, I get very much that. So to answer your question, I get very much that you will have, um, you will create your own party and you will okay. have the ability to, um, to reach more people. And so okay. stay, stay very mindful about who, you know, that's the old expression, who you hitch your wagon to, okay. you know, you want to be mindful of who you're hitching your wagon to so that. Again, you're drawing yourself expansion and abundance, not um, depravity, where someone's taking from you. Okay. Because that can come, you know, they can, they can both show up looking the same, but it's going to be up mm-hmm. to you to discern, oh, you're saying this, but you really mean that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But over I here, I could do this. So, and I would say to you, yes, there's ways that you can do 
you know, very inexpensively, you can get a web presence going. Um, okay. And, and even if it's just a couple of, you know, one or two or three tabs that just kind of says who you are and what you offer mm-hmm. and, an, and an ability to pay and then be able to, um, do you have a Facebook page, Elizabeth? No, I don't do any kind of social media. Okay. Well, that's another, you know, an interesting way of, of interacting and gaining a base. And it's, that's free. I mean, you, you it's your time. But okay. it's literally free. That doesn't cost you, you know, anything. So look in those terms of mm-hmm. what other ways you can expand your presence that, um, you know, that will, uh, that will help you. It doesn't have to become, you know, this main focal point of what you're doing, but it can be just the soft, you know, the, the support underneath that okay. kind of expands, you know, expands you and everything. Um, and I just want to see if the, You've got anything? Um, yeah, you're going to have some really great opportunities coming up. Um, running, you know, it's now April 1st, so you know, running from now, yeah. kind of through the fall, is going to be a, a, an expansion time for you. So take advantage of it. Um, Thank you. Even you know, even if it seems like little things, the little things add up. Okay. So you know, definitely do that and trust, trust, trust yourself because. You're 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 very uh, you're on the right track and you're doing really really well. They're giving you major applause upstairs. <laughs> now, one more question quickly. Um, yes. Do you feel that I lost the love of my life 13 years ago, and I want to know if love is coming back? You know, it's I a haven't very... been open to it in the past, but I'm open to it now. And and the funny thing, uh, there's a theme. I, I sent uh, two of my colleagues. Um, I sent them this beautiful song um, that a new artist, Harrison Craig, uh, re-recorded, and it was Love is in the Air. You remember the beautiful song, Love is in the Air? Yes. And funny enough, I'm now seeing this as a campaign. Uh, It's very funny. And so on multiple levels, again, talking about the power of meditation, the power of, uh, you know, the age of Aquarius, the, the rise of the feminine energy, you know, it's love. So love mm-hmm. is in the air is a very broad theme that's playing out for everyone. And so for you, you've just articulated it, which is before I wasn't ready. I wasn't open to it. But now yeah. I am. And mm-hmm. again, beauty of the universe, they wouldn't want you to have met somebody before because you mm-hmm. would have drawn that resonance of person of mm-hmm. where you were. You know, you were more closed down and restricted and everything. Now you're this whole other person and being. It's like you're really blossoming into this place of abundance and, you know, change of, of, mm-hmm. of real prosperity, if you will, because it, it that yeah. resonates inside. So that will yeah. then, the more you open, the more you solidify, the more you trust, then you will draw that person to you. So I do, um, again... Same thing, same thing, because this all ties together. It's about watch for the, for the, uh, for the wolf in the sheep's clothing. Okay. So that you're always mindful of, because what, what it really comes down to, Elizabeth, is the trust in yourself to know mm-hmm. that you're not coming from a place of lack anymore. You're not coming from a place of need. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm enough. Yeah. And and that which comes to me then isn't meant to fulfill me. It's meant to be the icing on the cake. You know, it's meant to be the cherry on top. It's meant to be yeah. in addition to. And that way you can watch because, you know, again, sometimes the universe will send people to make sure that you aren't falling back into old beliefs or patterns. or, And so you've got to be able to discern and say, ah, you may look like this. Mm-hmm. But I think you're really this, and if I get that feeling, you know, if I get that feeling in my sternum or my pit of my stomach that says, even if you really look the part and all that stuff, but if it tells me that it's this, I've got to trust that and go the other yes. direction. Oh, I'll that, certainly do that. And yeah. once again, I have to thank you so much for being a wonderful blessing in my life, James. Well, thank you so much. I'm I'm honored and humbled, and thank you, Elizabeth, very much. And I love that you called in and. And did an update. I love that. Thank you so much. Okay. Have a blessed day. 
You as well. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So we're listening and we're talking, we're listening to the universe and we're talking about the power of meditation and then the power of receptivity. And you can see that in both of these cases with Amber and Elizabeth, the beauty of marrying that listening, that receptivity with willful action. And when we do that, even if they're small acts in great ways, they move us forward. They move us to a place of expansion, ascension, all of these beautiful acts and gifts that when we lead with our identity or our personality, that doesn't always happen. We get in our way and we trip ourselves up. So as we come back, again, the phone lines are open, 877-230-3062. We're going to go to a quick station break, and we'll be back after this message. Available for private, individual, group, and corporate consultations, Dear James will provide you with the intuitive insight, answers, and advice to your life questions. Schedule your consultation by going to www.dearjames.com and click on Consultation. The gift of giving is immeasurable. Give of your time, talent, resources, and money. Give not only because you can, but because by doing so, it is already coming back to you. As a people, we are only as strong as the least among us. Together, we harness the power of the collective whole and see through our deeds the power of miracles, both large and small. Find the charity that's right for you by visiting www.dearjames.com and click on Charitable Giving. One person or kind act really does make the difference. When you ask a question, the universe hears you, and in a multitude of ways, they communicate to you the intuitive insight, answers, and advice you seek. Ask Dear James a question and experience the magic of the universe. Visit DearJames.com and click Ask. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Dear James Live. Express yourself. Tell it like it is, and then hear what Dear James has to say. Today, it is all about the power of meditation. And as we had with the first two callers, Amber and Elizabeth, the beauty of listening, the beauty of trusting, the beauty of that soul-to-source connection, and the expansion and ascension that comes with leading with your soul. And in the power of meditation... Some of the things that, you know, what types of meditation are there? There's so many different things, and and really it's about the power of it. It's about the power of meditation. And when we look at whether or not you can be in concentration, uh, you know, like a concentration meditation, a reflective meditation, a mindfulness meditation, a heart-centered meditation, there there are a myriad of different types of meditations, different types of ways to meditate. And the point and the purpose, though, is this place of calm. And so I would implore everyone, whether you're just starting out or whether you're, you haven't yet taken the plunge, it's to be open, to be relaxed, and to start meditating. Um, I found my own story with meditation was I didn't do it beforehand often and everything, and a few years back, I started dabbling with it. And then I went to a, a private uh, weekend retreat. And this woman, uh, and if, you are, if you're on DearJames.com and you go under the tools, you'll hear um, the meditations that were offered graciously by Lynn Vermillion Smith. And I said to her, one of the things that I would remember most was her voice, the sound of her voice, the calmness. And 
Lynn's meditations for me are really beautiful in the sense that they some of them are guided meditations where she's speaking and guiding you along on a meditation on a journey to where you open yourself up to see what's happening and what's taking place and what you're feeling and the others then are of course um purely for yourself if you will that, that they're kind of solo meditations um but in each of them the point and the beauty that i found was that the more and more that I did meditate, the more I heard, the more, and again, not the chatter in your mind. That's a very different signal. If you think about an old school radio where you're, you know, changing the dial, um, when you're in your head, that's a lot of static. But when you're in your heart center, when you're listening, when you're just in that calm state, and the movie or the feelings start to express themselves. The movie starts to play. The feelings start to um, come forward. That's when you really start getting this insight, this soul source connection that I've been talking about. And people will talk about, well, if I meditate, you know, can I meditate sitting down? Can I meditate laying down? Can I, you know, yes, yes, and yes. The point about meditation is to find the perfect fit for you. So if lying down when you meditate places you in a receptive state, not one where you fall asleep, but one where you can gleam the information. For me personally, I need to be sitting upright. Um, and that holds me then with my back um, up against something or firm so that it holds me more in that receptive state because there are times where in my meditations I can even kind of bob forward, not like you're falling asleep, but you bob forward like you, you're you gaining so much information and everything that it kind of somewhat becomes heavy, but in a beautiful way. So there, that's for me this place. I also prefer meditations with music. Um, I find that if you're listening to the right type of meditation music or, you know, there's um, what they call binaural beats um, – and binaural beats, it's scientific, a scientific study of um, particular sound technology and so forth that places you into your, your alpha, beta um, states and everything so that you induce into a, medita- a meditative state faster. And so I prefer those types of meditations. The point being there are so many different types of meditation and that can serve different purposes, that it's for you to kind of pick and choose at the buffet until you find the ones that really place you into that relaxed, receptive state. It's all about permission. It's about permission to test the waters and to feel it and just eliminate. And if there's one thing you walk away with from the power of meditation today is eliminate the I'm not doing it right or that there's some correct way that you're not achieving that's just eliminate that. And once you eliminate that internally and you start giving yourself that permission, then you start seeing that the movie does play or the feeling will come to you. And perhaps in the beginning it's slow or it might be, uh, you know, uh, intermittent. Um, you know, it's like when you're in your car and you're listening to Sirius XM or something like that and you're, and all of a sudden the, you know, the signal goes, the satellite signal goes. And then it comes back in and you get a clear signal. So beautiful moments in how you go about listening. Now, something, uh, my sister, this was something that was really great for me because I'm a, a more right brained. She's more left brain. And we were talking about she started doing meditations and we were talking about it. And she said, I'm frustrated because I'm not seeing things when I'm in meditation, like, you know, like they say that you will. And so I started walking through her with the fact of, well, what is it that you're seeing? And she said, nothing. It's just blank. It's this blank black screen. And so I didn't, I wasn't understanding. I wasn't following with her. And so I said, okay, wait a minute. Let me just do this for a second. And so I closed my eyes like I was sitting in a meditative state. And of course, when you close your eyes and you sit quietly, what you see is a blank black screen. And I said, oh, So are you expecting things to show up on this blank black screen when in front of your eyes when they're closed? And she goes, well, yes, isn't that where it's supposed to happen? And so there was this awareness for me, and it was a beautiful awareness of of taking it too literally that what you're really so there's, you know, because you're trying to do it right. Her intention was that I wanted to meditate properly, and she was really trying hard and 
then she understood, oh, wait a minute. Because I then said to her, I said, well, okay, visualize an apple. And she said, okay. And I said, now, do you see that it's this luscious green apple and it's, you know, and you've cut a slice out of it, a wedge out of it. Now tell me what it looks like. And she's telling me exactly what it looks like. And, and I said, now, where do you see that apple? Where do you see this expression of what we've just talked about? And she said, well, it's kind of up in my head, you know, like I'm seeing it up and towards the front. And I said, exactly. That's where you're going to see or feel, your, you know, you're going to see your meditative images and so forth. They don't come directly horizontal in front of you. They come from on high. It's that same place of what we would call where your imagination comes from. You know, it's your creative receptive. It's right there. And once she was like, oh, then it changed for her and she relaxed into, oh, okay, it's not that I'm doing it wrong because the screen is blank. It's I just need to let go of that and see that what does come through is coming from that higher place, that creative receptive place. So beautiful, beautiful things about meditation. Some of the other things I wanted to talk to you about the definition of mindfulness and mindfulness is the intentional, accepting, and non-judgmental focus of one's attention on the emotions, thoughts, and sensations occurring in the present moment, which can be trained by meditational practices. Meditation is about being mindful. It's not about all the stuff and the gunk and the goo that's going on in your head and the clogging everything up, because that's leading with the personality. Mindfulness, meditation is mindfulness. It's that intentional releasing of all of that and that kind of calm focus, that calm acceptance, that, that non-judgmental, because many times you'll get a flash of something in a meditation or a feeling of something and your first instinct is to judge it. And I would say to you, don't judge it. Don't judge. Let the movie play. If you see a flash of something, try to hone in on that flash. If your mind gets busy, if it's chattering too much, then come to a focal point of either a mantra, you know, saying something or an ohm, um, something that holds your focus because you're really training your brain to relax, to let the ego relax, to let your personality your ego mind, relax so that your mindfulness can come forward. Because we lead, so often we lead with our personalities, we lead with our ego, and, and a healthy ego is great. But a healthy ego will also know that we're in when we're in the receptive state, it needs to be quiet. And we need to train ourselves, we need to train our brain and our ego mind to say, ah, here's my beautiful partner, you receive, and then I'll act and follow. That's the kind of synergy that takes place. But right now, if we don't have that balance, if we don't have that beautiful masculine-feminine balance, that yin-yang, that receptive-active balance, then we're out of balance. And, you know, there's the beauty of karma, because karma is about balance. So if we lead with the personality and we make errors or, you know, aggressions or transgressions against others, it's because we weren't being mindful. We weren't being centered and aware with ourselves. And that, you know, that we all know where that leads. We all know where that gets us. So in that, I want to give you some fascinating facts about uh, meditation. This was a, a wonderful article. Um, written by Riddy Shaw, uh, it appeared on the HuffPost uh, Healthy Living. And some of the interesting things were about the fact that meditation can prevent heart disease, reduce stress, significantly lessen ADHD. And so think about that for the number of children that are on ADHD medications and so forth. And if we just started as the adults and, and the caregivers um, and the providers of that, if we started giving more interaction to being in a meditative state with our children and interacting, we would have, again, different experiences. And our children would start to learn how to diffuse some of these behavioral issues that they're encountering and they're dealing with. 
to be in balance, to be more uh, mindful. So we've covered durations of meditations. We've covered, you know, the how to meditate. There's just a myriad of them, the number of them, and the benefits. There are so many benefits to it. Um, and to not be literal about it. I want to also talk to you quickly just about the um, the sounds that uh, that can go with the seven chakras. And you start at the base chakra, and you work through them. You, you're working up through the chakras. And a beautiful three-minute, Lynn does a beautiful three-minute meditation that's about working through the chakras. And you can do it. It's a two-minute, three-minute meditation. And it's just starting with um, a sound of, Alam. You start with the first chakra, Lam. You move to the second one, Ram. To the third, Vam. You move to the heart chakra, Yam. To the throat chakra, Hum. To the uh, third eye chakra, the Kasham. And of course, the crown chakra, Om. And you can literally just hold, come into an ah, and then to that chakra. So, ah, ram. You just work up them. Lam, ram, vam, yam, hum, kasham, om. And if you work through those, and you can do that, that can be three minutes. You can do it for 30 minutes. The beauty is that it's centering and rebalancing your chakras. It's another beautiful meditation. And no matter which one you choose, no matter which one you do it, do it with an open heart. Do it on a regular basis. Start your day off with a meditation. Get up a little bit earlier and sit in that still place and choose a meditation that you love that works with you or choose a few of them and rotate through them. Listen to which you know, to your soul source connection about what, which meditation is going to work for you. Which one do you need that day? And watch then how your mood, your balance, your energy changes and how your, you know, your synergy or people will look at you and say, wow, why are you so calm or what's happening with you? Well, it's, it's the power of meditation. It's the power of connecting, of making time to connect that place from which you came because we get bombarded. We're bombarded every minute of every day. And if we make time for meditation, we walk through our days with mindfulness, with clarity, with purpose, with this willful, this calm confidence, this, it just resets everything. And if you're having a stressful moment, there's that two, three minute uh, meditation that you can sit in the car and just work through that and it resets you and then you go back into the office or you go back, you know, to what you were doing or you go back to, you know, being mom and dad with the kids or, or with the spouse or the boyfriend or the girlfriend or whatever it might be, but you can reset your center and that's a priceless gift, you know, that the universe wants us to lead with. So be mindful that we are now in abundant April, so things are going to start opening up. Um, it's going to be, we made it May and, and then we'll come into Jupiter June. So with that, go back and look at the power of series, these foundational life elements and the power of permission, gratitude, forgiveness, intention, surrender, prayer, enthusiasm. There are so many in the power of series, implement them and reap the benefits I thank you all so much for calling in. It's always a pleasure and a joy to take your calls and hear what the universe has to say. You've been listening to Dear James Live. Express yourself. Tell it like it is and then hear what Dear James has to say. The power of meditation. We'll be back next week. And as I always leave you with, no matter where you are or whom you're with or what you're doing, wrap yourself in goodness. You've been listening to Dear James Live on the radio with your host, Dear James. Gain intuitive insight, answers, and advice to your life questions and so much more by tuning in next week and visiting DearJames.com.